Hello boys and girls. In today's class, we are going to learn how to construct a regular hexagon. Now, what is a regular hexagon? You know that a hexagon is nothing but a polygon which has six sides. Therefore, the word hexa is there. Now, what is a regular hexagon? So, it's basically a six-sided figure, but it has all its sides equal to each other and also all its angles equal to each other. So, in this particular hexagon here, A, B, C, D, E, F is its name. And if it's a regular hexagon, that means it has all the sides equal to each other. That means A, B, B, C, C, D, D, E, E, F and F, A. All of them are equal to each other and so are the angles. Now, this angle here is called as the interior angle of a hexagon. Now, interior angle of a hexagon can be calculated using a formula. Now, we have a formula to calculate the interior angle which goes like this. So, interior angle of a hexagon is... Interior angle of any polygon can be calculated using this. It is 180 degree into n is basically the number of sides. So, we will be substituting n after this. Now, it has 6 sides. So, n for us is 6. So, what you have here will be 180 degree. 6 minus 2 is 4 upon 6. So, this is 6 into 30. So, what you have is 120 degree. So, each angle of this regular hexagon is 120 degree. And all angles are equal, so obviously every angle will be 120 degree. Now, let's proceed to construct the hexagon. So, let's now start and construct the hexagon here. We'll start with the base, the base AB. Now, the question says we need to construct a regular hexagon of side 3. That means each of the sides are of length 3 centimeters. So, here's 3 centimeters. I'll start with the base. This is AB here and look at the rough diagram. According to the rough diagram, the angle at B and A each is 120. So, we basically need 120 degree on both the sides. So, I will start with B here. We will first construct 120 degree at B. Now, constructing 120 degree is very simple. It is just 60 degree plus another 60 degree. So, I will first place the needle at B and here is my arc. This is 60 and here is another 60. So, this angle here is 120. So, I do not know where C will lie right now. So, I will just extend it from B in the form of a ray. So, that what I have drawn is actually a ray. Bx so that angle A, B, X is equal to 120 degree. But I also know that the measure of BC is 3 centimeters again. So, we can just cut 3 centimeter with B as the center to get our point C. So, I can go back to the ruler measure 3 or because I have already done it once, I can do it from here from AB because AB is already 3 centimeters. So, I will keep the needle at B and cut an arc of 3 centimeters measure so that this point here is C. Next, what is the angle made at C? Again, because it is a regular hexagon, the angle at every point is 120. So, I will need another 120 at the point C. So, for that, we will again use the compass and we are going to make first a 60 and then a second 60. This is six, first 60 and then a second 60. Okay. After that, because I haven't located the next point D yet, I'll name this ray as Cy. So, D lies somewhere over here and D is how far from the point C? D is at a distance of 3 centimeters from the point C. So, I'll measure 3 centimeter again from here. I can measure AB or I could measure BC or I could measure from the ruler. You have plenty of options there. So, I'll cut an arc. So, this point is the point D, the next vertex after C. 
So this is the vertex D. In this manner, we are going to complete 120 degree at the next vertex to get the next vertex E and then F and then finally join all of it to get our regular hexagon there. Let's have a quick look at what we did. We have started with the base AB. We have taken AB as 3 centimeters and then we constructed 120 degree at the point B so that we have constructed the ray BX in such a manner that angle ABX is equal to 120 degree. But then to locate the point C, we cut an arc of 3 centimeter measure with B as the center. So after we have located C, we have constructed another 120 degree in the form of a ray CY. Now to locate the point D on the ray CY, we have cut the same measure arc that is 3 centimeters once again but this time the center the, the needle is at C and the point that you get is D. We continue in the same manner to get the next vertex E and then the next vertex F. After you get F all we need to do is join all of it to get our regular hexagon A, B, C, D, E, F.